today I have my lovely mother with me and we are going to do some taste testing. Now, trying to always find a dessert. She's used to having desserts all her life. You eat dinner, you have a dessert. Or she likes to have a snack before she goes to sleep. So, I found these. They are by Ke the Keto um, Diet, but we're not on the Keto Diet. But I thought maybe we could, you know, take these and use these once in a while if we like them. Um, they looked interesting, so I thought I'd do a review on these. It is Keto-Friendly Double Chocolate Cake Mix. It has 5 grams of net carbs. It has zero added sugar. Now, so remind you, that's zero added sugar. And 8 grams of protein. So... Here is a thing on the back. Um, it is 300 calories. So for one container. So, but you could, I mean, you could probably half this, you know, if you wanted to, if you didn't want to eat the whole thing or something, you know. So I'm going to let you see the, I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can bring you up a little bit further. There we go. So you can see the, um, the back of it. There we go. So you can see that one. And that is for the chocolate one. And we also have the other one is called Keto Friendly Birthday Cake Mix. Ooh. This one has 5 grams of net carbs and it has zero added sugar and 9 grams of protein. And I will show you. This is also 300 calories. And this is for the keto diet people, but I figured I saw these and I thought, well, you know, this might work for, you know, once in a while for a snack or something. And I thought I could do a review. And there you go. You can look at the ingredients and stuff on there. So what you got to do for both of them, you do the same thing. You, um, it says do not eat uncooked batter on both of them. It says remove the film from the cup. Add two tablespoons of cold water and two tablespoons of belt, melted butter. Stir well. Try to replace the butter with coconut or you can use avocado oil. And then it says to microwave uncovered on high for one minute. Cool for two minutes in the microwave. Remove from microwave carefully by lifting from top of cup. So... We're going to put these, I'm going to put the, the, the water and the butter in here, and we'll microwave this up, and we'll see how it does, and then we'll taste them. And on this one, it's basically, it's the same ingredients. You're going to use the two tablespoons of cold water and the two tablespoons of melted butter. So we're going to do, both of these are on the same amount, it's one on high for one minute, uncovered, and then you cool for two minutes in the microwave. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. So we're going to start with this one first, and I'm going to show you how, to, how we do this. Um, so it says to melt the butter, uh, add two tablespoons of cold water and two tablespoons of melted butter. So I'm going to melt the butter. I mean, this is pretty soft butter here that I got here. So I'm just going to put it in a little bowl and we're going to melt it. We'll use one of and, and, um, we're going to melt this so it won't take too much. Um, I might need to get some more. Let me get, let me get some. I'm going to need more than that. So I'm going to get some more. I'm going to do them separate because then that way you know you're getting the right ingredients in it. So let me find a thing here, a knife. So we're going to do uh, one, two here. I think you can see me. Yep. And we're going to melt it. I just put it in here and I'm going to put it on the, in the microwave for a few minutes so it will melt. We'll be right back. Okay, we're gonna. There you go. 
just want you to see. Okay, what we're going to do is open this up. And we're going to add the two tablespoons of cold water and two tablespoons of melted butter. Which this is it, so I can just pour that in. So, let me get the water. So we have two. Now we're going to put in the melted butter. Make sure you don't eat the rawness of it. It's not good for you. And then stir well. So we're going to stir this up. And we get it all stirred up real good. Doesn't look like a whole lot in here, but, you know, we're not supposed to have all this sugar, so. I think it would be a nice treat, you know. Sometimes you just want a piece of cake, you know. And we can't have it with our diabetes, so I thought maybe we could try this and have it once in a blue moon. You know, something different. So, let's see. like it's pretty stirred good so as you can see okay so I'm gonna wipe this off in there try to get all the excess in there as much as I can okay and then it says to microwave uncovered on high for one minute so we're gonna leave the cover off and we'll leave it in the microwave for one minute and then we'll come back. Okay, guys, I'm going to take this one out. Um, we're going to leave it in there for a minute. That's what it says. So we'll leave it in there for, what, two minutes. It was two minutes, right? So we're going to leave that in there for two minutes. I got my timer going. And then I'm going to get the other one done. It's exactly the same way. So I'm not going to put you through it all again. So we'll put, get that one going. Stay tuned. My mother's laughing at me. I mean, I was going to show you this. This is so pretty. This is the birthday cake. Isn't that pretty with all the little sparkly things in there? I got the butter going, butter's going here. So I already got it melted. This one here is sitting here cooling. And that's what it looks like. There you go. So we're going to let that one cool and we're going to do this one. So take this off. We get another table, tea, tablespoon here, and we're gonna do two cups, two tablespoons, <laughs> not two cups, two tablespoons of water. Right here, one, two, and then we're gonna put the butter in here, like so. Just like we did the other one. I wasn't going to show it, but I wanted to show you guys the color, so I might as well. And here we'll bring it up a little bit closer. So you can see a little bit better. There we go. And we're going to just stir it real good. Make sure we get all that dryness all in there. Looks pretty good. This one looks really pretty. Yummy. Now, let's 
Has anybody been on the keto diet that has diabetes? Because I want to go on it, but I don't know. I have my mixed feelings on it. So, but a lot of people have lost weight. I do know someone that did do it, and they lost a lot of weight, but they weren't diabetic. And, uh, you know, you got to take your meds. Because uh, the, my mom's doctor, she he had a patient that um, actually ended up in a coma because she went on the keto diet and she took herself off all of her medications for diabetes. So you don't want to do that without doctor permission, that's for sure. But I thought if we could get something like this, you know, that kind of controls the less sugar. I mean, it's not perfect. No, it's not going to be. But um, at least it helps and it gives us something. It gives us something we can eat. That's yummy. You know. Okay, so now I'm going to put it in the microwave. And we're going to put it in for one minute, just like the other one. And then we're going to let it set for two minutes to cool in the microwave. So I'll be back when that is done. Okay, guys, we got them done. And I'm going to show you up here real close what they look like. There you go. This is the birthday cake one. And I found the price. They were $1.50. They're on sale. They were $2.19 regular price at Winn-Dixie. Um, Target was the cheapest I found online. It was $1.99 at Target. Um, this one is the same price. They're exactly the same price. So, and these are net weight is 2.1 ounce. So, you're not getting a whole lot, but you're getting something. You know, it's a little taste. So, mom and I are going to taste these and we're going to see if she likes it, if I like it, and we'll go from there. All right, I'm just trying to get the camera a little bit better for for us. Okay. Alright, trying to get you in the picture. There we go. Okay, so here we go. And they, you eat them warm. You can eat them warm. So they're like those. Like a lava cake. Yeah, only these are less, um, less, uh, um, sugar and calories in them. Well, I think the calories are like 300 in here. I think that's quite a bit, really. For what you get, yeah. Yeah, I do, too. Because so. it's like, what, what, one-third of the cup? Yeah. You can't see me. Come see me. There we go. We're going to bring it out a little bit until... Okay. Okay, so we're going to try the chocolate one each first. You go ahead. Take a little dip in there and see if you like it. You should have had some ice cream. Uh, we're not allowed to have ice cream. <laughs> no. I'm going to try it and see it, what I think you about it. You ice cream. You can't have ice cream, so let's not talk ice cream. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> mm, not my favorite. No. Very dry. dry. <laughs> <laughs> we did that together. Oh, my God. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you mean, you mean when I say ice cream? Mm, yeah, but, you know, we can have the sugarless ice cream, but it's just not really sugarless. Nothing's really sugar. It's just that they don't add any extra sugar in it, but it makes her sugar go, whew, whew. so we can't do that. And I try to stay away from it, and if I bring it in the house, I'll eat the crap out of it, so I try not to do that either. Very dry. Well, pick another bite and see what you think. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't like that one, huh? It's not as good as the molten cakes, because they've got like a... Molten cakes are, have real sugar in them. Oh, yeah, but they also have like a, a liquid center. Now, if they had the liquid center in here, it would taste pretty good. Like if it had like a little syrup in there? Yeah, Like syrup. a chocolate syrup or something? Oh, yeah, just more sugar. <laughs> yeah, right. So, mm, eh, I'm not impressed. Sorry. And, I mean, look at how much you get, which is fine for one serving, really, if you're on the keto diet. I mean, you know, you got to be careful. But, ugh. <laughs> very, very dry. Kind of tastes like sandpaper a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So let's try this one. This is the birthday cake one. This one seems a little bit more moist than the other one. And I put exactly the same amount of butter and water in both of them. So it's I don't know why. Yeah, they cooked at the same time. Yeah. So try it. Mm. Not bad. A little bit moister in this one. I don't know why. I don't get it. Maybe because the chocolate absorbs all that water that you're putting in there. Not much moisture. I would probably add another tablespoon of water in each one. Yeah. So and that I. might make it more moist. I mean, maybe some people would like it this way. I find it very dry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm having a hard time swallowing it. Yeah, if you don't like cornbread, you probably won't like this. Yeah, because uh, I, I think cornbread's very dry most of yeah, it. Yeah, but I like cornbread. <laughs> See, I don't, I, I like it if it's moist, but I don't like it dry. No. No. But, I mean, it beats not being able to not eat it at all. Right? Yeah, I guess if you're desperate. <laughs> if you're desperate. <laughs> but, um, yeah, well... But for the price, I mean, I think the price is pretty good. I think it's on dollar fifty is okay, but mm, I like this one better. Yeah, I yeah. like this one a lot better. It's got more moisture in it. That one's really dry. I think they should add another tablespoon of water in this one. I think the chocolate just sucks it up. You know? It's very chocolate, very chocolatey, more mm -hmm. chocolatey than you want. Right. So. Oh, my favorite. This one would be my favorite. Would I buy again? I probably would once in a while. Not too often. <laughs> if I can find something else a little bit better, I'll probably go with that. But, um, yeah. So, what do you think? Well, I think they've made the chocolate one too chocolatey. And I think it puckers your mouth. The other one I like better. I like this one better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not as dry. No. Mm -mm. Not much flavor though. You don't taste like all those sparkles in there that you see in the prettiness. You would think that it may have little candies in those and they were a little flavored or something. Nothing. Nothing. All you taste is like the vanilla uh, cake. Well. Yeah. yeah. So. But anyway, so they're okay. Um, and a dollar fifty, that's not bad. But there was one store that had them for what two ninety nine or something. No, like it was a dollar ninety nine at Target. Tar no, mm -hmm. what was the other one? There was another one. No, the other ones were over two dollars regular price. These were on sale. Yeah, for a dollar fifty. So I at a dollar fifty, I think that's where the price needs to be. Any more than that, I forget think, it. Forget it. Yeah, I wouldn't buy them. Okay, so that concludes our little dessert for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I was hoping it was going to be better. I mean, you know, I'm not much on the keto. I don't know what you know, um, but I just thought, oh, this looked interesting and. I thought I'd try to do a, do a video with you with them and uh, see well, how you like them, too. If you see a new product, you'd like to at least try it and um, see how you can round out your diet without blowing the sugar out. It's very hard being a diabetic. It really is. And they're <laughs> all the time, they are making uh, your choices less and less. Wow. So it's nice to have something once in a while to have a treat. Right, and and the less sugar, you know, like I find anything we buy, we try to find the less sugar as possible on the shelf. You know, that's the way I go. Um, because you still got to eat. You still have to enjoy our foods. Because if we're not enjoying our food, then, you know, you're, you're going to get depressed. And, and you're going to cheat even more. Yeah, yeah. So, and I have gradually put things in and changed things. So, it has helped her tremendously. Yeah. She has, her sugar has gotten right where it needs to be. Yes. And she hasn't had it there for a very long time. So, mine is still a little bit higher than I'd like it, but 
But you, you work on yours as long as I worked on mine. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't want to do that. So hopefully I can try and work on it a little bit more and get it down. But if you do it all at once and try to do it, it's just like a diet. You know, you slam that diet in there and you just try to do it. You, you're not going to succeed as well as if you gradually do it because then your mind doesn't really know that you've changed things as, as drastic as going on a diet. So, no. and with diabetes, it's not a short-term project. It's no. the rest of your life. Yeah. So, what it's I... It's a changing thing. What I've done, I've cut out things. i cut out a lot of things, and a lot of them I liked a lot. But I, I figured out that I'm going into kidney disease now, and I, bet, I better smarten up, or I'm going to be on dialysis or dead. So I have a choice. So anyways, that concludes for our dessert today. Um, so stay tuned. We got Shaver's working on two videos right now that we are, he's uploading. So he's working on those and I'm going to upload this one tonight, hopefully, so you can see it. So Micah says she's out for now. Y'all have a great week, the rest of the week. Um, you'll probably see me in some of his videos because I think we got a couple more to do tonight. And uh, yeah, so we're, we're jamming them out. We're having fun. <laughs> it's been raining, so what the heck, right? Laura's bored. She's not at work. No. <laughs> no. I, I've been out of work almost a month now. So I go to therapy tomorrow, and I go to therapy on Friday. So Let me try this one more. <laughs> ah, so you like that one a little bit? I don't know yet. I had too much chocolate in my mouth the last time. <laughs> Anyways, guys, stay tuned for more videos. Take care, and we'll be back on the next one. Bye, y'all.